today we're going to see how easy it is to connect to your DVR from your Android phone. We're going to start by going to the marketplace to retrieve the application. I'm going to click on search and type in GV AView. and then search. We're going to choose this application that says GVA View, the one at the top. I'm going to install it by pressing on the free button and then accept the permissions by clicking on OK. The icon at the top shows that it's downloading. As it is a large application, sometimes it can take a little while depending on your connection. Okay, now it is installing. And we're told that it's successfully installed. So let's return to the home screen, go into our applications, and here it is, GVA View. You'll be greeted by a uh, settings and connection screen here. So you can name your profile, whatever you'd like. You can then select uh, and, uh, and place your IP address. I'll get rid of this first. Okay, in my case, I have it pasted on the clipboard. So there. And then place your username here that you've made in the system. and the password. Okay, now you might be tempted to uh, click on this link to connect to it right away. However, if you click on that, all it's going to do is link to it and not save it. So what we're going to do is click on the plus button, and then it has saved it. Okay there, there is our entry. By clicking on the entry, we can then click on the link and connect to it. Again, this can take a while depending on your connection and how many cameras it's pulling. And there we are, viewing live feeds. We can scroll through the different camera feeds by clicking on the next button. By clicking on the menu button, we can go to configure and change the quality of the image. So if you're on a slower connection, you can say normal and on a better connection, say good. We also have the option to uh, start recording all these different channels or only record the current channel stop recording all channels stop recording the current channel and if we did have IO set up we'd be able to trip the IO from right here rotating the screen also rotates your options rotating it back restores it to the previous view. Now, you're also able, when we go back, we want to disconnect, yes, you're also able to add IP cameras the same way, using the same uh, options to link one time to it or to save it in your address list. This allows you to view uh, GV system as well as GV IP cameras. And that concludes our demonstration.